Test one, two, test one, two. Microphone check, mic microphone check.
right, Kurt. We're ready whenever you're ready. The last time the NBL championship was played here at Wilby High School was the 2019-2020 season, of which the Naugatuck Greyhounds defeated Holy Cross for their first NBL championship in many, many years. Now we fast forward to the 2021-2022 season. We're back here at Wilby High School. It's the Greyhounds, their third consecutive appearance in the NBL championship. And they have a familiar foe of which the Kennedy Eagles are looking for their first NVL championship in 31 years. WHTR's NVL championship game is sponsored by Drew International and by DeGeorgie Roofing. Hello, buddy. Chris Saunders alongside not the big guy, Dave Grant. He's down in Florida. He wanted to escape me for a couple weeks, and it's okay. He needs the vacation. But pinch hitting coming out of the bullpen for WHTR is none other than J.P. Vance, the head coach of Watertown High School. J.P., it's great to have you on, man. Chris, thanks so much. Huge shoes to fill, our buddy <laughs> down in Florida, but I'm going to try. I don't shoot free throws as well as him, but I can throw some elbows like he can. Now, we have seen and you've seen both of these teams, J.P., and I think, you know, we look at on the Naugatuck side, 20-0, best in program history. They are number one in Division One. They, because the brackets came out today at 12 p.m., uh, they play the winner of Wilbur Cross and East Hartford. That game will be played uh, on February 10th, of which we will be broadcasting on WATR. Uh, Naugatuck, just tell me about your personal eyes, what you saw from them. You know, Mike Wilson does a really good job. I say defensively, there is not a team in the NVL, and, and maybe not in the state, but we will see, that plays defense like Naugatuck. They get out into you. They, they're a mature team. They take care of the basketball. And what can you say about S.A.? He's, he's the best player in this league. He, he has a bright future. Uh, he and Avery Hinnett have been through the wars together, and so I look forward to watching them play today. And they have a good flow in Kennedy High School, a heck of a team. You know, speaking of Naugatuck, another player, too, uh, you know, we speak about kind of the players that have really contributed. You know, two players in particular, that, you know, that I think a lot of people maybe don't mention because they aren't the stars. Aiden Robertson, who was a big-time wide receiver on the football team, didn't really get too many passes thrown to him because of the wing tee, but a full team player. He's done that here for Naugatuck, no surprise there. And second, Mr. 3 and D himself, Evan Swanson, who, as I said, to people who don't maybe know what 3 and D means, they drain the threes and then go plat, you know, go back and play defense. If, if you go on Google and you type in Robert <laughs> Ori, right? We talked about off air, but a guy that has a lot of championship rings because he defends, he hits the open shot. Mm -hmm. And Robertson, a glue guy. Every, every coach wants a guy like him who's unselfish, he rebounds, and he defends. All five guys on the floor for Naugatuck, they get into you. Now looking on the Kennedy side, 17-3 and three during the regular season, uh, coached by Armin Lavasser. Second trip with the Kennedy Eagles. Uh, they are the number two seed. Naugatuck, if I forgot to mention that, is the number one seed. Uh, Kennedy has four seniors and one junior amongst the starting five, but this is a team that kind of really has come of their own throughout the second half of their season. They had two separate win streaks, JP. They had won an eight-gamer from the 4th to the 31st in January, and then in February, they had a five-gamer from the 15th to the 23rd. What, what I think is so unusual about Armin now, he played for Coach Jack Taglia, a legend in the NVL, who was known as a defensive coach. And Kennedy plays good defense, but Armand was always known as a hack of a shooter. And this team does both. They can shoot and they really defend. So this could be a grinded out game. And I think that's probably the key for both of these lineups is that they want to run their offense. Kennedy does not want to let Naugatuck get out and run. Because if they get out and run, this game could get over quick. 
But yeah. Armand is a great defensive coach, mm -hmm. and he can shoot a little bit himself. Now, both of these teams kind of have similarities as far as the first five, very athletic, very competent, also very athletic, as I, you know, as I mentioned before, is being able to, as you said, stretch the floor, defense, offense, the whole nine. Now we look on the bench, it's a little bit different. Kennedy can go three deep. Naugatuck can go from what we have seen as far as during the regular season. Paris Sailor is typically the first one to come off. Then after that, at least for the games that we have broadcasted on WATR, we have not seen another player come in other than Sailor, except when the game got out of hand, then it became a different case. That's a question I have for Naugatuck, is the bench, what do they have beyond Sailor? Coach Wilson has his five guys that he's been through the wars with, he really trusts them, and so he, do he doesn't go deep in bench. In a playoff game like this, I wouldn't expect them to go more than six, seven at the most if there's foul trouble. I, I think you hit it on the head, Kennedy has a couple young guys that can come off the bench. Uh, the coach's son who can hit jumpers, Terrence Morrison, and uh, Hakeem Truhart, very talented sophomore who can score in a hurry. Now I will say though, if we're looking at experience as far as in the NVL championship, Naugatuck has not only Essayonic Poma and Avery Hinnett, who were part of the starting five when they won it against Holy Cross. You also had a couple players who are now starting who are on the bench. But then you also look at what happened against uh, Sacred Heart at Alumni Hall, of which Naugatuck lost that game. Aiden Robertson was a part of this team. Avery Hinnett was obviously amongst the starting five. Essay as well. Uh, even Jay Sean Lindsay. I mean, Swanson too coming off the bench. What I'm trying to say is, there's a little bit more of experience, seasoned vets, quote unquote, for Naugatuck. They've been here. I mean, we're getting to the point now where, are we going to call it the Nogi Invitational? <laughs> Coach Wilson would love that to happen. And you know what? He's confident, but not to the point where he's cocky. If you ask him who, who's the best player in the gym, he'll tell you he is. So he might be a little more than confident, but, and he might be right. Th this team is experienced. They've mm -hmm. been through this. They know what they're doing. and. You know, I, I think the crowd is not as huge as we expected. Uh, people are still strolling in, three minutes to tip off, but I think there's a lot of folks in the basketball community that think this is Noggy's game. It's not going to be much of a game, but I, I, I'm thinking Kennedy can surprise him. I will say, though, Coach Wilson's son is, you know, he may think he's the best. His son may be better. <laughs> We should buy stock in Little Wilson because <laughs> Little Wilson's shooting threes in warm-ups and he, he looks pretty good. For the, for the people who are listening, if he's uh, three foot eight, that, that might be a lot, right? He's a little boy. And he's, he's hitting jump shots like he's playing for uh, the Villanova Wildcats, maybe. He learned from the best. And speaking of Villanova, you're Mr. Villanova. They won by two against Providence. Yeah, good game last night. Happy to be there. and. But here, I'm hoping this is a battle just like last <laughs> night. There was there was a lot of threes, but there was a lot of defense. First guy that takes a charge in this game, I'm going to love it. That's going to be the play that every coach loves to see. And Naugatuck has some big guys. Kennedy's got to be willing to step in, take the contact, and keep Avery Hinnett, who is a full-grown man and has been for four years, got to keep him off the glass if you're Kennedy. Now looking at X-Factors for both teams, uh, JP, who is the X-Factor for Naugatuck and then vice versa for the Kennedy Eagles? Well, I, I say for Naugatuck, it's Jay Sean Lindsay. Good player, doesn't get the headlines. SA, SA is the superstar, right? Avery Hinn is a full-grown man. He's gonna rebound, he's gonna get some dunks down low. But if Jay Sean Lindsay is going off offensively, then, then this is gonna be a long night for Kennedy. And then I say Trueheart coming off the bench for Kennedy. If he comes in and he's able to provide a little bit of relief for Kennedy and put up some points, which he's capable of doing, he's a sophomore, but he has no conscience whatsoever, he has no fear, he could be big for them in, in a tough spot. I couldn't agree with you more. I've been a big fan of Akeem Trueheart since I saw him play in the last game of the regular season against Ansonia. The way that he, it's almost like he's a secret weapon for Kennedy because he, I don't want to say he's a walking double-double, but I will say he's the kind of player that could put up a double-double because of his athleticism and the way he's able to, you know, to kind of stretch the court. As you said also too for Naugatuck, they just have so many offensive weapons that could really kind of score. Obviously, S.A. and Swanson and Hinnett. And Chris, one of the things that always scares me when I see three referees, three referees to me sometimes means three times as many whistles. 
Uh, we have very good referees today, Don Tinker being one, Gary Orio. And you can hear the crowd now, the Naugatuck <laughs> fans. I, I think the entire borough of Naugatuck might be across from us at Wilby High School. I think, you know what, as where I now live in Town Plaza, I think Town Plaza is also represented here too. Kennedy, Kennedy will travel a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I think there will be parties up and down Highland Avenue if Kennedy pulls off this upset, just like the Naugatuck, they might shut the town down. There might not be school in Naugatuck tomorrow <laughs> if they win this game. For Naugatuck, they are looking for their second NVL championship in three years. For Kennedy, they're looking for their first since, honestly, since 91, when they went 3 p 89 to 91. Now, since the NVL went to the NVL tournament, they restarted back in 2004. Kennedy has never been to an NBL championship, so this is the first for the Eagles. <laughs> some, some names to throw out there for the Eagles, that 91 team, Jerome Malloy, Garnett Petaway, some absolute legends in Waterbury basketball. The history, as you know, JP, you know a lot about it here in the NBL. I have a lot of gray hair, my friend, a lot of gray hair. <laughs> Now for Kennedy and Naugatuck as the PA announcer is going over the rules and regulations for both sides and also cheering on as you hear the Naugatuck fans at their side, Kennedy as well for their fans. I could just feel the energy, JP. It's just great to be back here. Biggest thing, respect. And they're going over the rules. <laughs> a lot of sportsmanship, but listen, this game is going to get chippy. These are two teams that defend mm -hmm. for a living. So I, I expect some chippiness, some physical. I mean, it's one of the keys of the games. Avery Hennett is a very strong rebounder. That, that's what he does. Kennedy has to keep that big guy off the boards. The starting five for the Kenny Eagles, coached by Armin Lavasser. Number 20, number 33, rather, Lennox Serrano. Number 10, Manny Beeman, senior. Number 21, senior, David Zalinski. Number 20, senior, Chauncey Hicks. And number five, senior, sincere, Alvarez, coached by Armin Lavasser, as I said, the number two seed. The Kenny Eagles, 17 and three during the regular season. And Kennedy will be in their away gray uniforms. And now for the number one seed, the Naugatuck Greyhounds, coached by Mike Wilson. As the Naugatuck crowd cheering loud for their Greyhounds. Number 35, senior, Jay Sean Lindsay. Number three, senior, Evan Swanson. Number one, senior, Aiden Robertson. Senior, number two. Number two, senior, S.A. Anik Poma. And lastly, number four, senior, Avery Hennett. The starting five for Naugatuck. JP, final thoughts. Avery Hennett, he, he is a scary man. He's a big boy, great rebounder. He might be the best defensive end in Waterbury, and he hasn't even played football yet. Let's send it back to the station. We come back. The NVL championship here from Wilby High School. This is the 75th consecutive year of high school basketball on 1320 WATR, 97.7 FM.
Back here at Will Be High School, the NBL Championship. Number two, Kennedy. Number one, Naugatuck. Moments away from tip. Starting five for both Kennedy. Alves, Beeman, Hicks, Zelinski, Serrano for Naugatuck. Robertson, Anikoma, Swanson, Hinnett, and Lindsey. Naugatuck will be in their gray uniforms and Naugatuck. Waiting to see what uniforms they will have, but as I mentioned, Kennedy will be in their gray. A game that has not been played here since the 2019-2020 season is back here at Wilby High School at the Reggie O'Brien Gymnasium. And Naugatuck stepping on the court in their white unis with dark maroon trim on the sides. Serrano and Hinnett both at the center. Three refs for this game. Chris, that always scares me, three refs. Hopefully they let these guys play. This is the MVL after all. I hope so. I think they will. Confidence. Whistle has been blown. Serrano and Hinnett waiting. Ball is thrown up, and it begins quickly with Naugatuck. That's S.A. S.A. spinning. Right hand off the glass. Good by Naugatuck. And S.A. starts it off for the Greyhounds. 2-0 Naugatuck. 7.50 to go in this first quarter between the number two seed, Kennedy, and number one, Naugatuck. Kennedy going right to left. Nogi left to right. Quick pass over to Hicks. It's lost. That's Naugatuck. They take it away. First turnover by the Kennedy Eagles. Jason Lindsay inside the three. Now outside to Swanson. Switching around to S.A. Onik Poma. Vertical pass to Jason Lindsay. Swanson top of the key. Swanson driving. Swanson outside to S.A. Pulls up for the three. Comes up just short. Hinnett gets the offensive rebound. And then a whistle blown. Offensive foul on Avery Hinnett. His first team's first. And Chris, I told you that's my favorite play as a coach. Kennedy has to stay in there. They have to take the contact. They have position. That, that's, a, that's a great play, a great defensive stand. Inbounding is Beeman to Serrano. Back over to Beeman as Kennedy goes right to left on your dial. Nogatuck going left to right. Serrano for three. It rolls out one and done for Kennedy. Nogatuck back on the attack. That's Evan Serrano bringing it up or Evan Swanson, I should say. Swanson inside the three, back outside to Lindsay. Swanson in the corner. Horizontal pass to Anik Poma. Anik Poma to Swanson. All by Zolta for three. Misses the three. Fighting for his Lennox Serrano. He takes it away. Great weak side rebound. I, I think Kennedy's really happy so far. They're, they're making Naugatuck settle for jump shots. Beeman will bring it up for Kennedy, guarded by Swanson, giving about two to three inches of space. Back to Alves. Alves, a senior. Alves spinning. Alves lane. Alves hit. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up again. And he's fouled. How about the effort by Alves? He was a quick jumper on that second. Missed the first right at the, right at the cookie. And then he got the rebound. Went right back up and got hammered. Gary Orio on the call. Fouls on Swanson. His first team second. Alves, first free throw. Good. That would make uh, Dave Grant very happy. <laughs> our free throw shooting legend, our friend Dave Grant. Call him Mr. Free Throw. Second free throw by Alves is uh, no we, good. Well, it jinxed him, but Kennedy's all over the boards. One of two is Alves from the free throw line. It's 2-1. Naugatuck over Kennedy. 6.15 to go in this first quarter. Swanson, left corner, back to Hinnett. Hinnett pushes, gets away with a foul. Goes right back to Robertson on Onik Poma. Onik Poma lost the ball. Lindsay regains for Naugatuck. Swanson for three. It's an air ball. Hinnett slams it hard with the right hand. Avery Hinnett making his presence known early. 4-1 Naugatuck. Dog out that weak side rebound. Beeman to Zelinski. Alves spinning. Pulls back. Finds an opening in Hicks. Beautiful and how about pass. The pass? Beautiful pass. 4-3, Nogi ahead of Kennedy. Under six to play in this first quarter. Hit it in the corner, guarded by two. That's Hicks and Serrano, air pass. Anik Poma lost it, and a whistle blown. They're gonna call that on Kennedy. Let's see who it's on. A little bit of a bailout call there. And the foul's on Beeman, his first team's first. I'm surprised that they blew the whistle there. Broken play, yep. and ball is loose. Swanson inbounding. Swanson to Lindsay. Catch and shoe right side. Misses again. Hinnett gets the offensive rebound. And Hinnett with a left hand finger roll. Hinnett has awoken. He's got four, leads the team. It's 6 3 Naugatuck over Kennedy. 5 15 in this first quarter to go. Neiman Alves. Zelinski, top of the key three. 
Misses the three, one and done is Kennedy. Back on the attack are the Greyhounds. As they go left to right on your dial. Anik Poma gets away with an elbow. Anik Poma goes back, guarded by Beeman. Beeman staring down Anik Poma. Anik Poma still dribbling. Anik Poma finds Robertson. Robertson back to Anik Poma, now Lindsay. Swinging around the three-point line, they give it back. They feed the big guy. Hit it. Puts it down. Hit it's got to stay away. Can't put it down. He goes back over to Swanson. Swanson. Horizontal pass. Anik Poma. Guarded by Beeman of Kennedy. Anik Poma. Dribbling. Lost the ball. There's Robertson. GP. Naugatuck's just keeping the possession. And as I say that, they lose that turnover by Naugatuck. Their first of the game. Zelinski with a move. Zelinski driving. He misses. One and done is Kennedy. Tough, tough shot by Zelensky. A little bit out of control, one on four. They're playing great defense. They're really making Naugatuck start their offense very far from the basket. Ani Poma misses the J from the right low post. One and done is Naugatuck. Beeman in transition. Beeman going in, and they blow the whistles. Ani Poma almost fell into the stands. They are letting him play. And maybe it's not a foul. So I thought it was going to be a foul on Naugatuck. It is not, so no foul called on the Greyhounds. But it does stay Kennedy ball on the side of Naugatuck. Serrano inbounding. 4.02 to go in this first quarter. 6-3 Naugatuck over Kennedy. And then hit it with a big time block. But it stays with Kennedy. Serrano from the right elbow. He comes up short. And then Lindsay gets a defensive rebound. What a hit. It's having a mighty first quarter, JP. They need to have a body <laughs> on him the entire time, including on offense. You got to make him move away from the basket. S.A. slowly dribbling the ball. Lindsay back to Anik Poma. Anik Poma at 18 in the semifinal game against Career. Lindsay back to Anik Poma. Guarded by Alves, and they blow the whistle on Alves. His first, team second. JP, I saw you shaking your head there a little bit. I, I think the referees, are just, just like a basketball team, the referees have to get warmed up as well. they they, they got to decide if they're going to call a tight game or they're going to let him play, and they're doing a little bit of both right now. Lindsay to Anik Poma, guarded by Beeman. And it's intercepted by Kennedy, pass intended for Hinnett. And then Zelinski back to Hicks. Hicks just keeps it from stepping out of bounds. Beeman with Kennedy on the numbers. Alves for three. He misses the three. Robertson gets the defensive rebound. Naugatuck on transition. Lindsay driving, right low post, no good. Anik Poma then takes it from the sky. Anik Poma puts it off the window. It's good by Anik Poma. He's got four ties in it. It's 8-3. Naugatuck over Kennedy here in the NBL Championship. Beeman, three-fourths of the court. Back to Chauncey Hicks. Zelinski in the corner as Kennedy goes right to left on your dial. Alves guarded by Swanson. Swanson jumps in the air of Alves. In the corner is Zelinski. Zelinski driving. Zelinski right hand. And it's no good. Another miss by Kennedy. Kennedy's been cold, JP. Right at the cuff. Right at the cuff, and he just... Hit every part of the rim and didn't go in. It stays 8-3 in favor of Naugatuck. 2.17 to go in this first quarter. In the NVL Championship, Chris Saunders alongside J.P. Vance and Kirsch Mead at the 1320 WATR Studios. Anik Poma has a lane. Anik Poma back outside. Jay Sean Lindsay for three. No good again. A three still has not been made in this game. Kennedy on the transition. Alves to Zelinski. And a blocking foul is called on Naugatuck. Lindsay on the foul, his first. And Coach Team Wilson third. does not like that call. It could have gone either way. Coach Wilson uh, a little exasperated with the call by Don Tanker, but that, that looked like a, not a charge. That was definitely a block. And Zelensky will be at the free throw line for two. Kennedy is one of two thus far in this first quarter. Naugatuck has yet to shoot a free throw. An ugly game so far, definitely a rock fight. First free throw, good. <laughs> And I know, JP, you talked about David Zelinski being a key for August, or, uh, for Kennedy, rather. The, the, the kids all call him Day-Day. He's a heck of a player, a, a big kid, and he's really had a nice senior year. Now, Truhart is into the game. Out was Chauncey Hicks. Zelinski made his first free throw as senior, wearing number 21, waiting for his second free throw. And it comes up short. Truhart fighting for the ball. It's a scrum picked up by Lindsey. One of two is Zelinski from the free throw line. Lindsey now dropping back. Lindsay to Swanson. Swanson dribbles once. Goes up high to Lindsay. Now Anik Poma. Kennedy 2 of 4 from the free throw line. They're down by 4 against Augusta. What a pass. 
and it finds Swanson in the right low post. Swanson with his first points. It's 10-4 Greyhounds over Kennedy. Chris, that was the first time they didn't face guard Ani Palma, and he did a great job by finding the open man. Beeman to Alves. 125 to go in this first quarter. 10-4 in favor of the Greyhounds, and a block by Hinnett. His second block in the first quarter. Swanson on transition. In the corners, Ani Poma. Ani Poma switches, and what a play by Ani Poma. He's got six. It's 12-4, Nogata. 105 to go in this first quarter. Beeman, three-fourths of the court to Alves. Down to a minute in this first quarter. Zelinski outside, Alves, high arcing three. It's short. Hinnick gets a defensive rebound. And now Nogatuck will slowly bring it by. Their side on three-fourths of the court. Now by mid, three-fourths of the court on the side of Kennedy. Anik Poma guarded by Alves. Down to 40 seconds in this first quarter. 12-4, Nogatuck over Kennedy. Kennedy the number two seed. Nogi the number one seed. Robertson outside Anik Poma. Anik Poma to Lindsay in the corner. Swanson for three. He misses another three. A lot of threes, Dave, have been shot and missed in this first quarter. This is not, not a pretty offensive game. Great steal by Naugatuck right at half court. Anik Poma lost the ball. Swanson picks it up for the Greyhounds. Horizontal to Lindsay. Right corner three. He misses the three. Zelinski fights for the ball, but to the hands of Beeman. Beeman to Alves. Alves in transition, and then he's blocked by Swanson. How about that? And oh, he's got to watch himself. Swanson said something to Alves after the block. Have to watch that. Swanson had a little something to say. Exciting play, <laughs> high school kid, but they, they don't let you talk very much in the NBL anymore. Have to be careful. Cannot afford technical fouls, especially in a game like this. Kennedy, 3.4 seconds left with the ball underneath the basket. They're really struggling to shoot the basketball. And it subbed out Paris Saylor in for Naugatuck. Truhart from the right corner. Misses the J. Lindsay gets a defensive rebound. And the first quarter has concluded with the score. 12-4. Naugatuck ahead of Kennedy. We'll be back with the second quarter in just moments. This is the NVL Championship right here on 1320 WATR and 97.7 FM. You know, Chris, exciting first quarter, 12-4, Naugatuck. Kennedy really, really struggling to shoot the basketball. And one of the things that we talked about pregame was how Avery Hinnick can really affect the game, both as a, a rebounder and a scorer around the rim. But he's intimidating in the back of that Naugatuck defense. And Kennedy is not getting penetration at all. So they're settling for jump shots, and that's really not their game. In a game of which is as massive as this, Almost every time, as you will know, being a Villanova fan, you need your big time players, Gillespie, Villanova, to step up. Right now, Avery Hinnett, single handedly in that first quarter, as you said, have, has almost in the Kennedy mind said, if you're coming to the paint, I am going to block you. And that's what they're thinking right now, JP. And you know, as a Big East fan, as a Kemba Walker fan, he's a small guy. He would get into the chest of a shot blocker. We haven't seen that yet, where Kennedy's got to the rim. Kennedy begins the second quarter with the ball, inbounding. Alves, Alves spinning to Serrano, guarded by Robertson. Lost the ball, loose ball, Paris Saylor picks it up. Now it's Alves and a whistle blown. And are they going to call that on Naugatuck? Wait to see. Maybe not. That's going to be on Naugatuck, yes, but not Sailor, but Robertson. His first, team's fourth. Team and, foul. And Hannah is not in the game right now, so yes. Kennedy really has to take advantage of the big guy getting a ref. True heart. Dribbling for Kennedy in their gray uniforms as they go right to left on your dial. Naugatuck left to right. True heart to Zelinski. Zelinski guarded by Anik Poma. Finds an opening in Alves. And Alves was fouled by Robertson. That's his second Team's fifth, and as you said, JP, when Hinnett's not in there, you got to attack, attack the paint. They run a little bit like Torrington has always been known for, a little bit of a wagon wheel, or you can call it an Iverson cut, where the, where the backside offensive player comes right across, 
great pass, then you got to look at the rim. First free throw made by Alves. He is two of three from the free throw line. Kennedy now three of five from said free throw line. Second free throw by Alves is good. Four of six is Kennedy from the free throw line. The leading scorer through the first quarter was Chauncey Hicks with two, and then you had Fernagatuck. You had Anik Poma with six. As we're in the second quarter right now, 7.22 to go in the first half, 12 to six in favor of the Greyhounds. And hit it in for Robertson. Uh, his, his break was a quick one. Lindsay. Find an opening in Sailor. Sailor lost, regained. Sailor spinning. Sailor back to Lindsay, guarded by Truhart, number 24 of Kennedy. Lindsay in the corner to Sailor. Sailor dribbling to hit it. Hit it. Right hand. Oh, oh, oh. Avery hit it. Said, I'm going to slam this one hard. He's got six. 14 6. Kennedy. A question Nogatuck over Kennedy. Truhart to Alves. Alves. So Serrano now back to Truhart. Truhart driving, Truhart. And it's going to be an offensive foul on Truhart. That's his first, team's third. We could talk about S.A. in a bunch of different ways, how, he, how he's a great offensive player, but he was willing to step in there, take the charge. He's a willing defender, which you don't see from a lot of superstars in this league. Now, one thing in the first quarter, which was an odyssey, no threes have been made in this first quarter and so far in this second. Quick pass off the hands of Lindsey. Sailor keeps it alive in the corner. Lindsey back up top. And now a timeout called by Naugatuck. We'll take a timeout as well. 6.25 to go in this first half. 14-6. Naugatuck ahead of Kennedy. This is the NVL Championship right here on 1320 WATR 97.7 FM. Ani Poma to Swanson for three. Yes! Nogatuck with their first three, and it's made by Mr. 3 and D himself, Evan Swanson. 17 6. Nogatuck over Kennedy. 5.50 to go in this first half. Chauncey Hicks back into the game for the Eagles. And Ani Poma trying to strip it away from Zelinski. And then last touch by S.A. diving into the crowd. If you throw a one handed cross court pass against S.A. Ani Poma, expect a run out dunk. They, they got away with one there. <laughs> Mr. Dunk, as uh, you would know. I've seen it. <laughs> In person. <laughs> Lennox Serrano trying to make a pass. It's thrown away by Avery. Hit it. Hit it to Swanson. Swanson on contact. Whistle blown. The foul is going to be on Chauncey Hicks. His first. Team's fourth. And Evan Swanson, number three, will be at the charity stripe for the first two free throws for Naugatuck in this game. So, Chris, we're seeing guys starting to get a little bit comfortable, a little tired, a lot of one-handed passes. And when you see one-handed passes, expect good defensive teams like these two to get hands on the basketball. Now, I will say, JP, as the free throw was missed by Swanson, Dave Grant made an interesting point throughout the first half of the season. He said a lot of times players are not passing with two hands. They're doing one hand. Now, after this free throw, which is going to be made by Swanson, one of two, why do players do that, JP? You know, I went to a coach's clinic that was taught by... Kentucky coach John Calipari mm -hmm. does not let his players, even in practice, do anything with one hand. He wants them rebounding two hands, passing two hands. Alves makes the basket in the paint. 18 8, a 10 point lead for the Greyhounds. Lindsay dribbling, horizontal pass. Sailor somehow going to the sky to be able to keep that ball in the hands and possession of Naugatuck. Essayonic Poma driving. 
to the corner is Swanson. Swanson guarded by Serrano. Into the corner again is Saylor on the right side. Give and go, Lindsay. It's tipped by Hicks right to the hands of Serrano. Back to Hicks. Hicks now to Truhart. Good defensive play by Kennedy, JP. Nice block by Chauncey Hicks. Just staying patient. A little bit too much dribbling on the side of Kennedy and Nogatuck. Zelinski picking it up, lost it, and now a foul called. Or was it a foul? May have been. No, it is a foul. They're going to call that an essay. Yes, they will. That's his first. Team sixth. One more, and Kennedy will be in the bonus. Serrano inbounding. Serrano behind the Naugatuck basket. And now an offensive foul. David Zelinski, his first team fifth. I have to tell you, JP, that is, I think, frustration in how this first half has gone for Kennedy. Yeah, Day Day, as we call him, he, he was struggling getting the basketball. They're having a problem inbounding. That's not a credit to Naugatuck's defense. They're a tough team to inbound the ball against. Stays a 10-point lead for the Greyhounds. 4.30 to go in this first half. Chris Saunders alongside J.P. Vance, the head coach of the Watertown High School boys basketball team. Ani Poma lost the ball. It's by Truhart. Truhart goes behind the back. Outside, Zelinski for three. Yes! Zelinski gets a much-needed three for the Kennedy Eagles. He's got four. It's 18 to 11. Naugatuck still over Kennedy. 4.10 to go in the first half. Lindsay to Saylor. Saylor. Dribbles a couple times, now Lindsay again. Guarded by Alves. Lindsay in the corner, Swanson. Swanson cuts. Swanson will dribble a couple times and retreat. Retreat, rather. Anik Poma. Lindsay tries to answer back. Yes, he does! Lindsay with his first points, it's the triple. 21 to 11. A 10 point lead back for Naugatuck. Zelinski for three. It comes up short. One and done is Kennedy. And Naugatuck will slow it down. Not, not a great possession that last time through. Uh, Three-point shooting is not Day Day Zelinski's best thing. He can take that ball to the rim. Ani Poma back to Lindsay, guarded by Truhart. Now Saylor. Saylor dribbles a couple times, three-fourths of the court as Naugatuck goes left to right on your dial. Three by Ani Poma. Then it's no good. Saylor gets the offensive rebound and then throw out of bounds. Last touch by Alves of Kennedy. Possession Greyhounds. And now Beeman's back into the game. And it looks like Chauncey Hicks will be out for Kennedy. Swanson inbounding. So Naugatuck has Swanson, Hinnett, Lindsey, Saylor, and Anik Poma. As they give it to said Anik Poma. Lindsey, guarded by Beeman. Now Anik Poma. Back to Lindsey. Lindsey will dribble a couple times, three-fourths of the court. Swanson guarded by Beeman. Alves going for the steal. He swung and missed. Left an opening in Ani Poma in the corner. Ani Poma tries to throw it in bounds. He can't. It's thrown away by Kennedy. Too hard to Alves. Alves pump fakes once. Puts it in over hit it. He misses. Serrano puts it in for a second time. Third time. He misses. And Naugatuck is back on offense. That's Jay Sean Lindsay. Lindsay driving. And he's hit by True Hart. That's going to be True Hart's second. Team sixth. And at the free throw line for a second time will be the Naugatuck Greyhounds. First time for Jay Sean Lindsay. Kennedy had three great looks right at the rim, point blank, and just could not get it to go. Lindsay had set free throw line number 35, a senior. One of six seniors on this Naugatuck roster. Naugy the number one seed. Kennedy the number two seed here in the NVL Championship. Jay Sean Lindsay currently with three points. Naugatuck, one of two from the free throw line. First free throw is good. He has four. Two of three are the Greyhounds on the free throw line. Hicks is back in for Truhart. 2.38 to go in this first half. 22 to 11. Naugatuck. Greyhounds trying to make it 23 to 11. Lindsay's second free throw is no good. And Serrano gets the defensive rebound. One of two is Lindsay from said charity stripe. Kennedy really needs to get something going offensively. If this just turns into a three-point shooting game, long shots mean long rebounds, and that's going to help Naugatuck get run out. Beeman to Zelinski. Zelinski driving. Zelinski right hand. He comes up cold on the right low post. One and done are the Eagles. And Anik Pomo will bring it up. The star for the Greyhounds. Lindsay for three again. Yes! Jason Lindsay, his second three in this second quarter. 25 to 11. Naugy starting to run away. A 14-point lead. Beeman to Serrano, 10-foot swish, and oh, they needed that one. And oh, did they. Lennox Serrano's first points 
25 to 13. And Chris, that was off penetration. That's, that's something Kennedy has not really done in this game. A missed shot by Nogatuck. Hinnett gets the offensive rebound. He puts it in. He misses, and a second chance good by Anikoma. He's got eight. 27-13. Still in favor of Nogatuck. 1.30 to go in the half. Missed opportunity by Beeman. Second chance no good by Kennedy. Then Chauncey X almost took it from high from the ceiling. It stays with Nogatuck. Oh, but then they throw it out of bounds. Sailor. A little bit too hard of a pass. Possession back over to Kennedy. And Saylor, careless with the basketball last couple possessions. Uh, Coach Wilson's letting him have it a little bit. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> the very shy Mike Wilson on the sideline. Beeman to Serrano, who just made a basket. Back to Beeman outside the three-point line. Beeman, guarded by two, finds an opening in Serrano. The 10-foot J misses. Kennedy again, one and done. Nogi has numbers as Hicks fell behind the Naugatuck basket. A missed opportunity, however, they find Hinnett. Hinnett gets away with a push, and then he goes again. Slams it with the right hand. And it looks like Ani Poma got away with a, a little bit of a travel there, but the dunk counts for two. Eight points for Avery Hinnett. Under a minute to go in this first half, 29-13, Nogatuck. Zelinski, left corner, three. He was hit, and it doesn't matter. Day Day makes the three. He's got seven. 29-16, still Nogatuck. So does Naugatuck go for, go for a quick bucket and get, an, get another possession, or are they going to slow it down? Looks like, looks like Onupoma is going to hold the basketball, go for one shot. Onupoma to Swanson, down to 20 seconds in this first half. Lindsay in the corner. Sailor fakes it left, goes right to Swanson. Down to 10 seconds in this first half. Nine seconds as the crowd's counting down the seconds. Beeman fighting for the ball back to Hicks. Three seconds ago, hit it, lost it, picked up by Lindsay, and the shot will not count, but it was way short. The first half has concluded in the NBL championship. The score, 29-16. Naugatuck over Kennedy. We'll be back with the halftime with myself, Chris Saunders, and J.P. Vance. This is the NBL championship at Wilby High School on 1320 WATR and 97.7 FM. So Chris, not a thing of beauty. Naugatuck jumped out to a halftime 13-point lead, 29-16. Uh, what are some of the thoughts that you have about the first half and sort of the rock fight that we're seeing in the NBL championship tonight? Kennedy, I mean, they've left a lot of, you know, in, in football terms where if you turn over the football or you go for it on fourth down and don't convert, especially in the red zone, you leave a lot of points on the gridiron. Same thing for Kennedy. They've missed a lot of bunnies in the low post. Uh, there were opportunities for them to really do something. They missed. And being down with the score now 13 is not terrible considering what they were at one point through the duration of the quarter and a half that we had. You know, I, I, I told you that I had a great conversation today with Armin Lavasser, a fantastic Kennedy coach, in, in the second go around with the Eagles. And one of the things that he said to me was, 
The keys for Kennedy to compete in this game were to keep Avery Hennett off the boards, especially offensively, but most importantly for them to be able to run their offense. And they haven't really been successful in the first half doing either one. Hennett's, Hennett's been uh, defensively intimidating, and Kennedy's offense really lacks flow. The couple times that they've penetrated, they've gotten good looks, but there's been a couple block shots. I mean, even even the three and D guy, right? Mm -hmm. Evan Swanson had a, had a great block. They're looking for Hennett, and they're short arming a lot of shots around the rim. And Hennett had two blocks in that first quarter, and then we'll, you know, basically, you know, basically what we saw from Kennedy in that second half or first half as well, being able to dominate Aiden Payton like that, mighty impressive. JP really was. And S.A. Uh, had a, a quiet first half. And by quiet, I mean he, he doesn't have any incredible dunks as of yet. But what I'm watching is that he hasn't had a break. And Kennedy is trying to face guard him and make him have to work on both sides of the floor. He's a willing defender, and they're making him struggle offensively. But you have other guys who are, who are not afraid. You have Jay Sean Lindsay, who's hit a couple big threes in that second quarter. They, they have guys that have been through the wars, and they have stepped up. It hasn't been just Hinnett and Essay. It's been, been the supporting cast. Thus far with the scoring totals, we have David Zelinski with seven, and for Naugatuck, I mean, it's been sprinkled around. I mean, you have Essay, who's got eight points. Uh, Avery Hinnett also has eight points. It, you know, we really have seen the starting five for Naugatuck really do their thing in that first half, JP. The last couple years, Mike Wilson has been really lucky to have guys that step up. The stars get the headlines. We talked about a guy, Derek Gigello, who's, who's now a, uh, a college man and a baseball player. And he was, he was a baseball player at Naugatuck. Yes, he was. But he came to Watertown when he was, he was probably fourth in the scouting report and dropped 33 <laughs> points. So today, that's been Jay Sean Lindsay, that's been Swanson, Robertson, a little bit of foul trouble, so he hasn't gotten going offensively, but mm -hmm. those other two guys, they take the pressure off the superstars, and that's what you need to be a really good team. As you said about Derek Gigello, who I coached for Naugatuck, for junior, uh, for senior legion, rather, uh, I'm pretty sure he never slipped on any other scouting report after that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he had my vote for all NVL. I thought the kid was a really good basketball player. He was just, he was a baseball player who could play basketball. Now he was on the 1920 team that defeated Holy Cross, and that was of which soon after that NVL championship game, sadly, the tournament was canceled because of COVID-19. And also, if people are wondering why this is the first time since that year, it's because last year, because of the COVID season and such, the games were played at the, the higher seat or lower seat, depending on how you look at it. Right. And the game was played at Alumni Hall. Sacred Heart was the number one seat. And sadly enough, that was the final game to be played at said Alumni Hall. And Sacred Heart was able to defeat Naugatuck to prevent Naugie from going back to back in the NBL championship. Wilby's a great place to host. Yep. They have a lot of room. As a player, and I will, I use the term loosely when I call myself a player, but way better players than me always talk about how tough it is to shoot at Wilby High School because there is a lot of space behind each basket. So if you're not someone that's practicing here all the time, mm -hmm. it's not traditionally one of the gyms where you could come in and light it up, unless your name, of <laughs> course, is Phil Lott or Ryan Gomes <laughs> or, you know, guys like that. Um, but tough place to shoot and, and we're seeing that and even the Augatuck, who has some very good three-point shooters struggling a little bit from beyond the strike we've only seen two threes made by Kennedy uh, three for Naugatuck now in the first quarter there were no threes there right. were a lot of missed threes and to go to your point about kind of that extra level in the background I think another part too and we saw that from the referees and even from people in the crowd the intensity the the you know the waiting for this game and with everything that comes into that and I thought you made a great point, JP, in the beginning of the second quarter. Now people got their feet wet. They kind of now saw what was going on. And we saw, at least on the Naugatuck side, they started to really calm down. Kennedy, we have not seen that yet. They, they have not <laughs> calmed down. No, yeah, Naugatuck came out a little shaky offensively, right? I mean, they, they were taking quick shots. They were not getting into their sets at all. And, and you know, Mike Wilson, for as much as people think that Mike just wants to roll the balls out and let his athletes run. Mike does a good job of having his team play with poise, running their sets. Now, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. This gym, especially people who have traveled Rubber Avenue to get here, waiting for Essay <laughs> to get a run out because we know what happens when Essay gets a run out. And we've seen Avery Hennett, power dunker, right? I mean, 
just hammers the ball like a Buck Williams who used to be a nice NBA player mm -hmm. rebounder down low he, he's not going to dazzle you with ball handling mm -hmm. he's not going to hit jump shots but mm -hmm. man watch your head if he gets the ball next to the rim now I've got a nickname for Ani Poma that I've been waiting for but I didn't want to use it during the regular season I wanted to wait until now hopefully he can dunk it at some point but I digress but you know I want to go back to hit it really quick his his presence is a much needed point of emphasis, especially for Nogatuk, who is trying to make it extremely far in the CIAC State Tournament in Division One. And when you play teams like what we'll see, you know, the Wilbur Crosses, East Hartford, whoever wins will play Nogatuk, and then potentially East Catholic uh, down the road, possibly Windsor. Uh, poss you know, you just don't really know. And having a player like Hinnett show up like what we saw is massive for this Nogatuck team. Right. Kennedy doesn't really have a, a guy that can match the size and strength of Hinnett, mm -hmm. but Windsor does, and some of the other teams in Division I. So, so we will see. What, what I'm excited to see, I mm -hmm. mean, as an MVL coach, I want some of these guys to graduate because I'm tired <laughs> of watching them dunk all <laughs> over my guys. But when I look at Hinnett and I look at SA, those are two guys that mm -hmm. I, I hope they go to prep school. I would love if they go down to Florida to play for, you know, Holy Cross grad Doug Leishner mm -hmm. or, or one of the great prep schools up here if they stay local. But mm -hmm. those, those are guys with bright futures. Just they got to fight the right situation. Very bright futures. And real quick before we begin the third quarter, people who may not have been following the basketball landscape, J.P. Vance won his 100th game during the regular season for Watertown. And I know I told you when you won it. J.P., congratulations on that 100th win. Well-deserved for what you and your staff has done for Watertown. Really. Thank you. Yeah, we, we, we have a great staff. Billy Unwin, you know, Waterbury fireman, so community guy. And Mark West Redding, guys mm -hmm. have been with me from the beginning. So we were lucky. And, and it's always a testament to the kids, right? I mean, I, I've lost a lot of games. I haven't won any. And also, too, real quick, uh, Coach Unwin, Oral Roberts. Oral Roberts. Got to get that out there, too. Big UConn <laughs> fan. I'm tired of listening to him about UConn, but Oral Roberts, he played there. Jay Sean Lindsay inbounding for Naugatuck as they go right to left on your dial. Kennedy left to right. 29-16, the score as we begin the third quarter. Lindsay, Donnie Poma, and we're underway here in the NVL Championship in the third quarter. Donnie Poma had eight in the first half. Donnie Poma to Robertson. Swanson, Donnie Poma, Swanson. Lindsay, can you do it again from three? Oh, yes, he will. 33 for Jay Sean Lindsay. All right, he so leads he's the team warm. with 10. He is warm. <laughs> is he fuego yet? Maybe <laughs> not yet. With that three, it's 32 16, Naugatuck. And Alves trying to make a pass to Zelinski. It is a backcourt violation. That is not good for Kennedy. Zelinski, who's going one way, JP, the pass another. As coaches in the second half, Mm -hmm. you, you don't like it when your team is playing offense in front of you. It's much better to be able to coach them on defense in front of you. Coach Unwin hates the second half because the kids can't <laughs> hear him call out defensive signals. Anik Poma to Swanson. Swanson, horizontal pass, Lindsay. Now Anik Poma. Anik Poma will dribble a couple times. Lindsay, Anik Poma again, guarded by Beeman. Anik Poma wearing number two, the senior, the pick by Robertson. Anik Poma now from the right elbow, spinning, left corner, Swanson, Mr. Three. Hey, back to back threes for Naugatuck. It's three and D. Evan Swanson, he's got nine. So a six nothing run to start the third quarter by Naugatuck. Alves to Zelinski. Off his foot, no, off of Robertson's foot, so it stays Kennedy. A little bit of a bailout call there. It looked like it was going the other way to Naugatuck. Lennox Serrano inbounding for the Kennedy Eagles. Zelinski, correction, actually no, will be Zelinski, who makes it in the left low post. He's got nine. 35-18, still Naugatuck. Anik Poma will slowly bring it up. Long pass. Lindsay from three again. He can't make the three off the hand of Avery Hinnett. Possession back to Kennedy. And Chris, we talked about Avery Hinnett, played at Westside Middle School. So with, with a few of these Kennedy players, mm -hmm. grew up with them, and they won a couple titles in middle school. So he knows them very well. Some bragging rights. Both are trying to get. And a whistle blown. I think it'll be on Naugatuck. Waiting to see. It looks like that's number three. It's on Swanson. That's his second. That's going to be the team's first here in the third quarter. Second half. 
6.17 to go in the set, third quarter, 35-18. Naugatuck, Chauncey Hicks to Beeman. Beeman working on Swanson, Beeman driving, Beeman a little bit too hard, loose ball, that's Anik Poma. Oh boy, Anik Poma, Anik Poma, it's Anik, don't go right there from Anik Poma. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's what we're waiting to see. He's got 10. I was waiting to say it, JP. You know, I was waiting to say it. <laughs> he doesn't need much landing space to take off there. Navin Zolinski on the drive. Zolinski, offensive foul. His second, team's first. JP, I saw kind of the frustration from Zolinski against Crosby in the second half of the semifinal. That is something that I've noticed where when things kind of get high, Zelinski starts to try a little bit too hard. And there's nothing wrong with that. He is a scrappy player, but you gotta have poise, especially against Naugatuck. They're a great defensive team. Anik Poma, the pass from Lindsay, back to Lindsay. Guard in the corner, now Anik Poma, 37-18. Naugatuck, Robertson on the pick. They feed it to Hinnit. Hinnit lost the ball. Robertson regains from the left elbow. Outside to Anik Poma, now Swanson. Three from the right side, it's an air ball. Serrano has it for Kennedy, one and done is Naugatuck. Lindsay, Talvez, correction, Alves driving, and that's an offensive foul on Kennedy. That's Alves, his second, team second. That's back-to-back -back offensive fouls. On Kennedy. I love that referee. I don't agree with that call. I think that was a slide by. You have to be able to slide by and get to the basket. Swanson inbounding to Anik Poma. Back-to-back -back charges on Kennedy. 37-18. Naugatuck. Hit it. Pulls up. Hit it. Driving. And he's fouled from the right low post. Two free throws for the big guy, Avery Hit it. Now that's somebody, Chris, with a lack of basketball talent. I would love to be on defense there, step in. Hennett had nothing, no plan with the basketball. He just went hard to the rim. But Kennedy bailed him out by doing a little Olay defense. They stepped away and reached instead of taking the contact and drawing the offensive foul. Avery Hennett will be shooting his first free throws of the game. First free throw is no good. Naugatuck, two of four from the free throw line. Now, Naugatuck in the two championship games, he was two of six in the win against Holy Cross, and he was one of two in the loss against Sacred Heart. Not that that really matters, but just something to throw out. If he keeps rebounding, they won't have to worry about him <laughs> making free throws. <laughs> That's for sure, and blocks too. Second free throw, good. He's got nine, Naugatuck. Three of five from the free throw line. Kennedy gets to shoot free throws in this third quarter. Chris Saunders alongside JP. Kurt Schmidt of the 1320 WATR Studios. The NVL Championship, number two, Kennedy. Number one, Naugatuck, 38-18 in favor of Naugie. Whistle blown, foul on Naugatuck. That's gonna be on one, Robertson. That's his third, team's second. And a substitution as Saylor will be coming in for Robertson. So a little bit of a height difference between Saylor and Robertson. Yeah, Sailor's a small guy. He, he does little things well, but but he's he's uh, in the game just to spell a couple minutes, give a guy a block. Alves for Kennedy as the Eagles go left around your dial. Alves on a move. He can't make it to the cup. One and done are the Eagles. That's not good. Another one right at point blank range. Swanson, possession of the ball for Naugatuck. Hit it in the corner. Opening is Anik Poma, cuts. Anik Poma tries to make a pass, it's intercepted by Alves. Long pass, and there's Swanson who takes it away from Naugatuck. Swanson to Anik Poma. Anik Poma spins by Serrano. He misses, gets his own rebound. Should be a Puts travel call there. He's missed again, that's a second miss by Naugatuck. Serrano's able to take it away. Long pass to Chuhar, who's in for Kennedy. Hicks goes in, and then it's blocked by Hinnett. He took it away. Another one for Avery Hinnett. Swanson. Driving to hit it. Hit it then misses the dunk in the right low post. Swanson then regains for Naugatuck. He misses. It's in the sky. Back to Nogi. In the corners, Anik Poma. Anik Poma posting up. Now retreating to three fourths of the court. That was a lot. <laughs> pulling it out, pulling it out, and just showing a little of senior leadership and poise right there. Lindsay to Swanson as Naugatuck regains. Missed three times. They keep the possession. Anik Poma outside Sailor. Sailor to Swanson. Swanson dropping back. 
Long pass, horizontal. Now back to Hinnett. Hinnett gets by Alves, reverses right hand. And Avery Hinnett. Too easy. 11 for Avery Hinnett, the senior, 48-team, Naugatuck. 3.05 to go in the third quarter. Serrano to Hicks. Trueheart. Trueheart. Alves guarded by Saylor. Alves steps back. Alves looking, finds an opening in Serrano. Beautiful pass. We'll keep it right here. The basket made by Serrano. He's got four. It's a 20-point lead for Naugatuck with 2.50 to go in the third quarter. That was a very good pass by Alves. Sometimes I just wonder, how does he see the opening there, JP? Great, great pass. It was a Princeton cut. It was a backdoor cut. And you could feel the stress coming from Kennedy's bench. Kids are getting frustrated. That Hopefully that basket gets them set so they can make this last 250 of the third quarter mm -hmm. competitive. And, and Kennedy calls a timeout. You know that Coach Lavasser is saying, win the next two minutes and 50 seconds because that's going to make a difference. I mean, Naugatuck has a 20-point lead. If it's 30, this game is over. I was just about to ask you, put yourself in Armin Lavasser's shoes for a second. What can you say to your team down by 20? Kennedy's getting good looks at the rim. They just need to go up with confidence. Now, I thought that block by Hennett, I didn't think it was a block. I thought he caught it when it was in the square. But you know what? Great athleticism. And the, and the refs didn't call the goaltend, so we move on. But what Kennedy has to do after not getting that bucket is they got to go back and mm -hmm. play defense. You know, mm -hmm. they were lucky that Hennett wanted to go for the big dunk there instead of just laying it up. They escaped. Do you think, JP, that the, the early uh, presence by Hinnett in the paint and getting those blocks has stayed in the Kennedy's minds thus far? A hundred percent, Chris. You, when you see a lot of these misses at the rim, they're short-arming them. So, so they're expecting some sort of a block. We, we talk about Kemba Walker all the time when we coach. He gets into the big guys, and that's how he scores at the rim. Naugatuck coming out of the timeout has Anik Poma, Swanson, Hinnett, Saylor, and Lindsey. And a foul, no. Backcourt on Naugatuck, possession Kennedy. You know, when Manny Beeman is guarding Essa, Kennedy seems to do a better job. He, he gets into him, he gets under him, and, and Essa hasn't really had open looks at the basket. Zelinski, catch and shoot three. Swish by David Zelinski. He's got 12, and they needed that three. The lead is now with 2.28 to go. 40-23, Naugatuck. In it, spinning outside to Onik Poma. Alves going for the steal. He had the steal, but then the whistle blown. A reach in on Alves. That's, That's a his bad, third. Bad. Ball. He had he had the basketball. So Dave, I'm I'm doing your job if you're listening. That is a terrible call. You know that makes Dave happy, <laughs> as he's probably on the beach somewhere. Inbounding is Swanson to Onik Poma. 2:18 to go in this third. 40-23. Naugatuck. Lindsay from the left corner comes up short. One and done are the Greyhounds. Two hard. Vertical pass, Zelinski. Zelinski will finish at the top. Now, since the timeout, Kennedy's been playing a 1 2 2 press. So they're just trying to force the action and make Naugatuck settle for three pointers. Swanson. Horizontal pass to Anik Poma, now hit it. Quick passes. True Hart almost had the steal. And possession stays with Naugatuck. With 1.51 to go in this third quarter, 40 to 25, a 15 point lead for Naugatuck. Chris Saunders alongside JP here in the NVO Championship at Wilby High School. The first since the 2019-2020 season to be held at Wilby. Truart with Kennedy on the steal. Truart with contact, makes it in the left row post. A little bit of a run by Kennedy, JP. Good job putting his shoulder down, getting to the rim. Swanson, horizontal pass to Lindsay. It is a 13-point lead for Naugatuck. Anikoma guarded by Truart. In the corner, and then Ani Poma trying to throw off of Truhart, and then Kennedy had it, and then a travel on Truhart. He had possession in the corner, and then just basically slipped. Now, SA is too good to get caught in the corner with the basketball. That's the, that's the place where you want them to go on a trap. That's tough luck for Kennedy. They had the ball there, JP. Ani Poma to Sailor. Sailor getting by two. Beeman going for the steal. A jump ball call. And now, Saylor saying something to Kennedy. I don't know who it was, maybe it was Beeman. And now, Jayshon Lindsay getting Saylor away and avoiding the technical foul. Smart. Very smart. As now Ani Poma is saying, let's go to the Nogi crowd. They are loud here at Wilby High School. 
So we knew it was getting chippy, and we have Kennedy fans right in front of us, Naugatuck fans to our immediate right. This is what we want to see, though. We want to see a basketball game. We want to see guys playing hard. Serrano inbounding to Beeman. A 13-point lead for Naugatuck with 1.10 to go in the third. Alves spinning. Alves working on Saylor. He goes in. He's fouled. And Alves is at the free throw line for two. Now, JP, the danger of doing what just happened. Could they have just awoken Kennedy? You know what? They went right to the guy that was talking the trash. And they said, OK, talk it, back it up. And they bailed him out with a foul. So it could have been a three-point play there. They're lucky that he missed the shot. Third-team foul on Naugatuck. It's going to be on Saylor, his first. Alves' first free throw is good. And He's we got seven. Chris. Saylor's a smaller guy. There's yep. a little bit of a mismatch. I yep. mean, Sincere Alves is a strong kid. Yep. So that, that's a spot where you want to isolate Saylor, maybe put him on your back and get a bucket. Look at Wilson right now talking with Saylor. Or no, Saylor's actually out of the game. So Saylor's out, Robertson's back in. Are you surprised by Saylor coming out? No, I think he was a little bit out of control, and so that, that's the right move by Coach Wilson. Free throw made by Alves, perfect. Six of eight is Kennedy from the free throw line. 40 to 29. The score, an 11 point lead in favor of Naugatuck. Robertson with the crowd loud for Naugatuck and Kennedy. Serrano on the steal, but then he stepped out of bounds. Possession Greyhound. Close call. I'm not sure if we're I'm not sure if we're gonna harass Tinker on that call. Robertson saying something about Zelinski, you know, possibly maybe trying to get him away as he was a little bit close. We'll have to watch that. Swanson inbounding to hit it. Hit it with an easy dunk. Too easy, too easy. That's the same play that Duke runs. A little side to side, pretty easy dunk for Avery Hinnett. 13 for Avery Hinnett, 42-29. Naugatuck, 36 seconds to go in the third here in the NBO Championship. Zelinski driving. Zelinski is called from the Naugatuck foul, and we'll see who it's on. It's going to be, I think, on two or three. Let's see. It's going to be on three. That's Swanson. That's his third. Team's fourth. And Zelensky back at the free throw line. He was one of two back in the first quarter. And Swanson pleading his case with Gary Orio. But we talked about in the first half, Kennedy did not attack the basket. They were settling for threes. Zelensky did a good job of getting there, and he was bailed out by a bad foul. Free throw is missed by Zelensky. He stays at 14 points. 42-19 is the score. Well, Chris, if he doesn't make free throws, maybe it's a good foul. That makes Kennedy 6 of 9 from the free throw line as Saylor is back in, Swanson is out. Zelinski waiting for his second free throw. Zelinski bends, the free throw is good. 1 of 2 is Zelinski. 7 of 10 are the Kennedy Eagles. 42-30, a 12-point lead for Nogata. 27 seconds to go in the third. Anik Poma gives it to Robertson. Robinson guarded by two. Back to Anik Poma to reset. Zelinski guarding Anik Poma. The quick pass to Robertson. Robinson pump fakes and he's fouled. What a play by Eden Robertson in the left, rather right low post. Great job showing the basketball, having the patience and poise to wait for the defender to go by and had a chance for an and one. Now he's got two shots. Fouls on Serrano, his second team's fifth. The unselfishness of Aiden Robertson all season. First free throw, no good. Nogatuck, three of six from the free throw line. 15.7 seconds to go in this third quarter. A packed house here at Wilby High School in the NBL Championship. Second free throw is just good. Nogi, four of seven from the free throw line, 43 to 30. A 13 point lead for Nogatuck. 10 seconds to go before the end of the third. Alves working on Saylor. A level whistle blown called on Paris Saylor. That's his second, team's fifth. Each team now with five team fouls. Lennox Serrano inbounding, 7.6 seconds to go in the third. And I'm not sure if Coach Wilson's yelling at the referees for that call, if he's yelling at Saylor for reaching. In the corner is Truhart. Truhart lost the ball. Possession. Stays with Kennedy with 4.6 seconds to go in this third quarter. Inbounding, Serrano to Zelinski down to three seconds before the buzzer. 
The three is missed by David Zolinski. And the Naugatuck Greyhounds go into the third quarter with the lead. 43 to 30. The fourth quarter shall be fun here from Wilby High School. This is the NBL Championship in 2022. Right here on 1320 WHR 97.7 FM. Kennedy battled in the third quarter. They want to make this a basketball game, Chris. A 13-point Naugatuck lead. It, it was a 20-point lead, and it looked like it could be a blowout city, but not here it will be. Kennedy showing a little bit of spirit, and the crowd in front of us, they're quiet right now, but they're going at it. Kennedy, 7 of 10 from the free throw line. Naugatuck, 4 of 7. And the leading scores for both sides for Naugatuck. It is Avery hit it with 13, followed by a double tens from Jason Lindsay and Essayonic Poma. And for Kennedy, the leading score is Dede, David Zelinski with 15. And as you said, JP, if that three is made, you're talking about a 10 point game. Kennedy feeling a little bit better, maybe kind of quieting the crowd of Naugatuck. But right now, this Naugy crowd is loud. Extremely loud. Loud and confident. They, Very. They, they, they want to party up and down Rubber Avenue tonight. Yep. Um, but but they got to play better defense. Day Day Zelinski had an open look. They didn't deny the basketball. It just was in and out. But it was a very good look. Naugatuck is looking for their 12th NVL title, non shared in program history. Their second in three years. And for Kennedy, they're looking for their ninth NVL title and their first since 91 when they went back to back to back. They three peated from 89 to 91. As Naugatuck will be inbounding. They have Lindsay, Anik Poma, Robertson, Hinnick, and Swanson. Kennedy has Beeman, Truar, Alves, Lennox Serrano, and David Zolinski. A 13-point lead for Naugatuck. The fourth quarter in the NBL championship is seconds away. And here we go. Lindsay to Anik Poma here in the fourth quarter. Anik Poma driving. Anik Poma. Robertson outside now in the three-point line. Lindsay gives it over to Hinnit. Hinnit spins. Nice spin. Hinnit. And it blocked by David Zelinski. What a play by David Zelinski of Kennedy. 100% clean. Chris, that was a man's block right there. <laughs> right at the rim. That was impressive. That was a dunk. He blocked the dunk. Swanson inbounding to Anik Poma. Anik Poma now three-fourths of the court. Anik Poma driving. Anik Poma goes in. Anik Poma good. Anik Poma now has 12. 45 to 30 in favor of Naugatuck with 7.30 to go in this fourth quarter. Beeman, three-fourths of the court. Back to now Truart. Truart outside of Lennox Serrano, and he just gets him high in it. When Kennedy penetrates, they good things happen. They get looks at the rim that they're not afraid to make. Serrano now with six. 45-32. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Kennedy. Possession, Naugatuck. 7.13 to go in this fourth quarter. 45-32. Nogi. Swanson inbounding to Poma. Ah. Yep. You call it. Bad, GP. bad, bad foul. I, 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 you don't want to put him in the bonus. Foul him 50 feet from the basket. You want to play good defense slide. They're making essay work, but if you put him at the line, this game's going to get over quick. That's the seventh team foul on Kennedy. And now one and one for Anik Poma, who after missing two of three against a uh, career, went on a streak. Didn't miss after that. It was 13 to 15 from the free throw line after that point. The one and one is no good. So essay misses the free throw. Naugatuck now four of eight from the free throw line. Kennedy looking for something. Trueheart driving. Trueheart gets by Hinnett. And he just missed in the left low post. I don't think Hinnett did anything. <laughs> I don't think he did anything. He has space in his head. That's what he did. <laughs> Anik Poma guarded by Beeman. 
And a blocking foul on Beeman. And Beeman saying, what about Essay's left elbow basically hugging me? They're, they're making Essay work, but you can't just keep hammering them. They got yep. lucky last time he missed the front end of the one and one Yep. It, it can't be a hack and Essay as the strategy. Essay on the poem at the free throw line, going for his second free throw. The free throw by Anik Poma is good. And he'll be rewarded with another. Naugatuck, five of nine from the free throw line. Still pretty good. Kennedy has taken Naugatuck out of what they've been doing for three quarters of the game offensively by this one, two, two press. But dumb fouls like that would just mean two points for SA. Both free throws made by Naugatuck, 6 of 10 on the Greyhounds. 47-32, Naugatuck. 6.38 to go in the game here in the NBO Championship. Beeman, try to make a pass off the knee of Swanson. Back to Beeman, three from Zelinski is no good. Hit it, grabs it from way high up there. One and done is Kennedy. Naugatuck back on offense. Anik Poma dribbling. Anik Poma to Swanson, but no, it's a low pass intercepted by Zelinski. Zelinski gets by Anik Poma and finds the cup. He's got 17. 47-34. Naugatuck. Swanson to Anik Poma. Anik Poma to Swanson. Three-fourths of the court. Naugatuck going right to left on your dial. Opening is Lindsay, and it's swatted away by Serrano. No, they call the foul on Serrano. That's his third team's night. And Chris, he's the only referee whose name I don't know, but he, again, that looked like a clean block here. We don't want to see this game turn into a free throw shooting contest. As I always say to referees, come on, this is the NBA. Let's let these kids play. And Lindsay will be at the free throw line. That's Kennedy's ninth team foul. First of two is good by Jay Sean Lindsay as 11. Nogi 7 of 11 from the free throw line. And Coach Levasseur agrees. He did not like that call, and he's, he's trying to appeal. Second free throw is good. So Naugatuck has made four consecutive free throws since Anikola missed the one and one. 49-34. Naugatuck, under six to play in this game in the NBL Championship. Number two, Kennedy. Number one, Naugatuck. Beeman, inside the three, back outside to Trueheart. Trueheart, guarded by Anik Poma. Trueheart with some moves now to Beeman. Top of the key. Alves, long three. Can't make the three. And they'll say off of, waiting for, off of Naugatuck. So possession stays Kennedy. That's a gift. I thought it was off of Serrano. It looked like it. And that's not what Kennedy wants. They don't want no. contested three-pointers. Inbounding is Serrano. Alves in the corner. Alves trying to get by, hit it. He misses the bunny. The second miss by Kennedy. And Robertson had it slapped out, but they're saying off of Kennedy. Possession, Naugatuck. 5.26 to go in the game. 49-34. Naugatuck over Kennedy. Anik Poma inbounding Swanson. Back to Anik Poma. Anik Poma on the drive. Anik Poma to Robertson. Three-fourths of the court. Now to Swanson. Lindsay goes on Zelinski. No good, but to the hands of Hinnett. Hit it with two defenders on, spinning. Hit it, putting the ball high. And now Zelinski then just pushed Avery Hit it. And now we have a little bit again coming together. That's going to be a foul on Zelinski. He blatantly pushed Avery Hit it. It's as simple as that. And now Avery Hit is saying something to Alves. Now the question is are they going to call a jump ball or are they going to call a foul? Because it looked like the initial signal was jump ball. A timeout called by Naugatuck. And I still have not seen a signal yet. We'll keep it right here. It's an official's timeout. But that is so interesting. I didn't see a technical call, and I didn't see a foul. So right now, maybe it was just a jump ball. It could have been. I mean, listen, this is Connecticut. Fouls can sometimes be called jump balls. That's very true. Very true, JP. So uh, we're looking at Gary Orio, not, no signal uh, except for officials' timeout. Uh, but it was getting a little chippy. Probably the right move with five minutes and eight seconds left in this fourth quarter. And Chris, what I'm seeing from Kennedy is they, they got away from what made them successful in that little mini run that they had to make this a basketball game. They were getting penetration. They were kicking out. Now, now they're not. They're not swinging the basketball, they're just simply settling for contested three-pointers, and that's not their game. Kennedy's only scored four points in this quarter. Four. 
And Not it looks, good. looks like it was a jump ball call. It looks like uh, Naugatuck ball underneath okay. their own basket. Now I am surprised because Zelinski with a little bit of a push, and I'm not saying because, you know, there needs to be a technical, only because of the atmosphere of the game, and we saw a second almost scrum about to happen, JP. Yeah. Swanson inbounding, full press for Kennedy. Anik Poma guarding. Anik Poma gets it over to Swanson. Swanson gets by Beeman. Horizontal pass to Anik Poma in the corner. Lindsay guarded by Serrano of Kennedy. Back to Anik Poma. Anik Poma guarded by Alves. Now Beeman. Anik Poma to Lindsay. Lindsay dribbles a couple times. Anik Poma inside. Anik Poma waits. Swanson to hit it. Passing around to Robertson. Robertson posting up on Beeman. Robertson waiting. Back to Anik Poma again. Anik Poma then lost the ball. And then a foul is going to be called on S.A. Anik Poma. That's his second. Team six. And that foul was a smart foul because Sincere Alves was already at the other end. He was yep. leaking out, ready for a layup. If, if this was NBA, they'd probably call that a clear path foul because S.A. saw smart foul. I mean, it's a bonus. They're still going to shoot one and one, but it's better than giving up the dunk the other way. One and one opportunity for Hakeem Trueheart. Trueheart's first free throw in the one and one is no good. Hinnett takes it high. And now Hinnett still moving around and he keeps the possession for Naugatuck. Seven of 11 is Kennedy from the free throw line. 425 to go in the game. 49 to 34, Naugatuck. Lindsay in the left corner. Lindsay to Swanson. Now Lindsay again. Lindsay up top to Swanson, 3-4 to the court. Long pass to Hinnett in the right corner. Hinnett waits, tries to make a pass to Essay. Essay regains, and he draws the foul on Kennedy. And if that's going to be on David Zelinski, and it is, that's his fourth. Two and free again, throws. And a broken play, Chris, where Essay and Apoma use the speed to get to the rim. But if Zelinski or uh, Beeman stood in and took the contact, it would have been an offensive foul. Instead, Essay. One and one. Actually, two shots right at the rim. Two shots. First free throw by Anik Poma. Good. And the improvement as now Naugatuck is 9 of 13, the made free throw by S.A. Anik Poma. His carryover from the Crosby game to now is huge when you're considering state tournament length as Naugatuck wants to go to Mohegan. Second free throw. Good again. 10 of 14. Naugatuck almost. Shooting well above 75% from the free throw line. Alves, catch and shoot three, left side, no good. Fighting for the ball is Beeman. Second chance for Kennedy, the three by Trueheart. He misses, fighting for his Alves, and he is fouled on the left low post. You cannot question the heart of this Kennedy team. They are fighting still. Robertson trying to appeal the call. He hit him, but Kennedy settling for contested threes. Yep. Three minutes and 50 seconds left. They're sort of out of sync offensively. They're not rotating the basketball, getting open looks. They're, they're just chucking right now. First free throw by Alves is no good. Fouls on Robertson, his fourth, team's eighth. Second free throw by Alves. He's currently at eight points, looking for nine. Benz, second free throw, good. Kennedy now eight of 13 from the free throw line. 51 to 35, Naugatuck. 350 to go in the game, inbounding. Swanson to Lindsay. Now Anik Poma, hit it, left low post, outside to Swanson. Anik Poma guarded by two, finds an opening in Swanson. Swanson to Trueheart, Trueheart. Fighting for the ball, it goes out of bounds. Possession, Naugatuck. And Coach Lavasser begging for the push call, which he could have gotten there right in front of us on this baseline. Inbounding from the baseline, Lindsey Donny Poma, the ball's on the ground, picked up by Robertson of Naugatuck. Swanson driving and had it hit by Chauncey Hicks. And last touch by Swanson. Unlucky for Naugatuck, possession Kennedy. Chris, when Naugatuck has done this whole game, every 50-50 ball ends up in their hands. Someone with a white jersey ends up with the basketball, and that's what makes them such a good team. Hakeem Trueheart. Alnick Poma going for the steal. The lost ball picked up by Chauncey Hicks, and then he was hit. Kennedy regains. 
And then we're going to have a block, maybe a little bit of a reach, rather, on Naugatuck. And I think that's on S.A. That's his third, team's ninth. A one and one for Kennedy again. True Hart at the charity stripe. Two points thus far for Hakeem Truhart. Missed the one and one about less than 30 seconds ago. 3-10 to go in the game. 51-35, Naugatuck. The one and one free throw is good. And Chris, this is the toughest time in the game for a referee. It's, it's not really a close game, but Kennedy is still fighting. So it's getting a little bit chippy. So you got to really keep an eye on these three guys. They, they want to keep these guys from killing each other, but they want them to be able to play the game. Second free throw is missed. One of two is Trueheart. Hinnett gets the defensive rebound. Kennedy, 9 of 15 from the free throw line. 51-36, Naugatuck. Anik Poma, 3-4 to the court. Anik Poma lost the ball, stopped away by Alves. Kennedy on the steal. Alves with possession for Kennedy, 3-4 to the court. Behind the back, Alves, no look to Hicks. What a pass and what a finish. The assist, Alves, the point, Chauncey Hicks. And Beautiful a timeout drive by and Kennedy. Dish. Beautiful. <laughs> we'll keep it right here. JP, describe what just happened there. Alves looked like he was going to score with his left hand on the left side. Did a great job jump stopping. One of my favorite plays as a coach. Jump stopping, being patient, and just a little shuffle pass to the big guy for a layup. Easy. And now it's 51 to 38. Naugatuck still with the lead with 2.47 to go in the game. Kennedy, the number two seed. Naugatuck, the number one seed. What's on the line as far as what's at stake? If Naugatuck wins, it'll be their second NVL title in three years. And they, you know, the first NVL title that was won before they won their first against Holy Cross was back in 1969. I'm going way back. <laughs> I don't know what year Bob Sagendorf was in 1969. I'm not sure if he was a senior. We're going to have to ask Yeah, him. we may have to ask him that. And for Kennedy, they're looking for a little bit of their own history as they're trying to win their first NVL title since 91. And this is their first appearance in the NVL championship since the NVL restarted the NVL tournament back in 2004. And, and the early 90s, Kennedy. Oh, that Malik, good. Malik Williams, the Petaways, Jerome mm -hmm. Malloy, who was a, one, of, one of the NVL greats. I mean, just a loaded team. And Jack Taglia, I mean, a Hall of Fame coach. Who Armin Lavasser was able to be alongside JP, do you see a lot of Jack Taglia and Armin Lavasser? When, when they press, I do. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Jack Taglia would grind the game to a halt. Aaron pass picked up by Naugatuck, almost stolen by Kennedy. Give and go to Lindsay in the right low post. What a play. Lindsay with more points. He's got 14. 235. By the big fella. 235 to go in the game. 53-38, Naugatuck. True heart. Outside, back to Alves. Alves driving, lost the ball, trying to make a pass. And it's a turnover. Possession, Greyhounds. But on that possession, Trueheart slowed down. The ball didn't yep. move side to side. They're, they're loading up. I mean, they, they got to go side to side if they're going to get open looks against this naughty defense. Chauncey Hicks inbounding. Or correction, Chauncey Hicks is out, rather. Anik Poma is inbounding. To hit it. Hit it to Robertson. They break the press of Kennedy. Give and go to Lindsay. Dribbled a little bit too much, but no, he didn't step out of bounds. And now Naugatuck has to get back on defense. Alves. Quick pass to Truar. Truar goes behind the back, regains. And how about the sophomore saying, let's slow it down a little bit, JP. Truar, three-four to the court, in the corner. Alves to Truar. Truar driving, left hand. Comes up empty on the teardrop. And now Anik Poma able to keep it for Naugatuck. Swanson with Beeman, no foul called. They let him play. Under a two to play in this game. Anik Poma. Possession, whistle blown. And now, how about David Zielinski picking up on Ipoma after what we saw earlier in this game? Excellent sportsmanship on both sides. And, and we can't say enough about Zielinski. I mean, yep. also an all NBL player. Correct. They, they, they had the pictures today. Fantastic player. Now they call the foul on David Zielinski. His day is done. He's got five personal fouls. His day will end with 17 points. And two free throws for S.A. Anikoma. And Kennedy made this a game when it could have just been Blowout City when Zielinski was at the top of that 1-2-2 two, two press. He, yep. was, he was making Anikoma really have to work. Anikoma is 4 of 5 from the free throw line in this quarter. 
Reminiscent of what he did against Career Academy in the second half in the semifinal of this NVL tournament. First free throw from SA is good. Now the big question will be, I think, going forward, if Avery Hinnett, when he's at the free throw line, can make free throws consistently uh, like SA, that's dangerous. And you know, they, they haven't today had to really work the basketball on the hint at the score down low. He's really much improved there. But when they play some teams with big guys, Avery Hennett's going to have to be an offensive force, and he can't just be a rebound. SA missed the second free throw. One of two as Naugatuck is 11 of 16 from the free throw line. Alves spinning in the paint. No look to Hicks. Hicks had it blocked. No, it's going to be a goaltending on Avery Hennett. The basket will count. Hicks will get another two points. He's got six. 129 to go in the game. 54 to 40. A 14 point lead for Naugatuck. Hit it. Inbounding. Hit it. Tony Poma now Swanson. Swanson holds on. In the corner to Robertson. Taken away by Beeman. Beeman trying to regain. It's taken away again by SA Onik Poma. Onik Poma off the knee and a reach in foul on Kennedy. And they can taste it over here on the Naugatuck side. Yes, they 114 can. 114 left, 14 point game. Fouls on Beeman, his third. Doesn't matter about the team fouls. It'll be two free throws for both teams for the rest of the game. 114 left in the NVL championship. As some people are starting to leave. Some, not all. Some. Kennedy a lot of credit. They did not quit at all. They battled. They made this a game. Yes, they did. And this is a good test for Kennedy, too, as they are in the Division Three tournament, as they have a bye as well. Right. Second free throw is good. Naugatuck 13 of 18 from the free throw line in this game. 16 point lead for Naugatuck. Beeman outside to Serrano. Truhart dribbling. Truhart on the drive. Truhart with the left hand. Good by Hakeem Truhart. He's got three in this quarter, five total. Under a minute to play. 56-42, Naugatuck. S.A. Onik Poma dribbling. Floats it high to Lindsay. Lindsay will retreat. Lindsay guarded by a couple Kennedy players. Now to Hinnett. Hinnett just passing it around. Jay Sean Lindsay. Kennedy still playing hard. And a foul called on Kennedy. Two free throws coming for Naugatuck. The foul on Beeman. That's his fourth. And the Naugatuck crowd saying, let's go Nogi. <laughs> Now, the only thing I don't understand, Chris, they're saying start the buses. Aren't, aren't the Kennedy kids from Waterbury? The oh, they're saying start the buses. The Naugatuck <laughs> folks have to start the buses, right, to get back to party on Rubber Avenue. I don't think they're going to school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I hope they do. I hope they do. I'm not promoting don't go to school. <laughs> but it's definitely going to be quite the scene in Naugatuck. That's no, for sure. I'm not sure if there are any of the sponsors are Naugatuck establishments, but I'm sure there are a few <laughs> that are going to be open late tonight. The crowd slowly, at least on one side, is leaving. I don't anticipate Naugatuck leaving anytime soon until the team leaves. SA shooting the first of two. First free throw is good. SA has made eight free throws in this quarter, JP. SA has a really nice stroke. He hasn't really shot the ball well from the outside in this game, but knocking down free throws. Second free throw, good again. 15 of 20 is Naugatuck. What a sign for them going into the Division I playoff. 30 seconds to go in this quarter. A three by Terrence Morrison is no good. Robertson gets the rebound. Naugatuck will hold on to the basketball. As the clock winds, they have to get it by midcourt. And then Hinnick just throws it away. And then Hinnick goes, I'm sorry, that was my fault. <laughs> and then the Naugatuck Greyhounds will sub. Their starters out as a big round of applause for the Naugatuck Greyhound starting five. Robertson, Adi Poma, Swanson, Hinnett, and Lindsay. And the Naugatuck faithful, as they always do, they turned out for him tonight. Yes, they did, JP. Yes, they did. As Kennedy will inbound the ball, they will go down for another attempt with 12 seconds to go. Jabari James, it's short. Francis gets the rebound. Naugatuck will bring it by. Down to three seconds. Naugatuck, for the second time in three years, is your 2022 NBL champion. The Naugatuck Greyhounds win. Final score, 58 
to 42. And Naugatuck, as these seniors will have one more opportunity in the CIEC State Tournament, they leave this game with as much positivity as they can. We'll send it back to the station and we'll wrap up this game here from Wilby High School. The Naugatuck Greyhounds are your 2022 NBL champions. This is the NBL championship right here on 1320 WHR 97.7 FM. Well, we have a new champion. It's the same as the old champion, right, Chris? Uh, Naugatuck winning their second in the last three years with a 58-42 win over Kennedy. Uh, the outcome was never really in doubt. Naugatuck jumped on them early in the first quarter, and they just held on. Kennedy did give a heck of a fight in the second half, but they just didn't have enough to, to take out the experienced senior-laden team. Uh, S.A. Hennett, Robertson, Jay Sean Lindsay, they, they all had great games. They really did. I mean, Kennedy's leading scorer was S.A. Anipoma with 21. Uh, then Lindsay at 14. Avery Hennett at 13. Uh, the leading scorer for Kennedy was 17 from David Zelinski. But this game, I think really for both teams, as you mentioned, uh, JP, that this is the kind of game where it not only prepares Kennedy, but I think if anybody thought that Obviously, when the game was over 20 points, the game was over. It was not. Kennedy gave every single bit that they had, and I think Coach Lavasser is extremely proud of his team, maybe not by the score, obviously, but I think he knows that this team will be battle-tested, as we saw, for the tournament in Division Three. Well, very similar to, you know, we're, we're all Big East fans. And there we go, the MVP of this tournament, S.A. No big surprise. Not surprised at all by that one. <laughs> but, but now the NBL tournament's over. Now we all go to root for everybody, all the NBL teams that are in the state tournaments. And Naugatuck has as good a chance as anybody to win in Division One. Yes, they do. And that's going to begin on February 10th right here on 1320 MWATR. Uh, the runner-up trophy will be given to Armin Lavasser and the Kennedy Eagles, the number two seed. A fine regular season and run in this NVL tournament. And as I said, they will, I think, make a lot of noise in the Division Three tournament. I 
as the Naugatuck Greyhounds were announced for the 2022 NBL champions. They're second in three years. And that trophy will be staying in Naugatuck for a whole year. Thank you for coming out. JP, it was a lot of fun being able to do the game with you and filling in for Dave. And, you know, really, your knowledge of the game and what you can share, JP, is beyond words. And I think, you know, again, it was great having you. It really was. Thanks. Thanks for having me. You know, I appreciate Bob Sack for inviting me as well. And, and Dave Grant for putting the pressure on me to try to fill those big shoes of his. <laughs> but we're all basketball fans, right? I mean, the, the MVL yep. is great basketball. Uh, Naugatuck, Mike Wilson had a really senior-laden team. And... I, I hope they go on a great run. And Kennedy's second half with that press that yep. Coach Levesseur, he, he, made, he made some adjustments at half. He showed some real coaching chops. We knew he could do it. You know, he took over for Ryan Sullivan this year. But they could make a nice run in the, in, in the Division Three. They really can as the crowd is swarming for Naugatuck again at the center part of the court. JP, look at this crowd swarming at the center. <laughs> Good luck to the Naugatuck teachers tomorrow. Good luck. <laughs> How can you not love this? How can you not? And to be honest with you, JP, this was long awaited for Naugatuck because they had an opportunity and just lost to Sacred Heart, 57 to 50, of which that was the final game at Alumni Hall. So this was a year plus waiting for an opportunity. And now these seniors who not only won their first as a group and broke what was a long history. 1969, they finished as far as this part of their career, winning a second for Naugatuck. And now they have one final crack in Division I in the CIAC State Tournament, and it's not going to be easy. They've got to play the winner of Wilbur Cross, East Hartford, then potentially Farmington and East Catholic, right. and then who knows from there. It's not easy. I give Mike Wilson a ton of credit, though. Agreed. Anyone could register for the Division I playoffs, and he's the only coach from an area team that said, you know what? Yep. We want to play against the best because we think we're the best. So yep. I give him all the credit in the world. I know he's a little disappointed that Bristol Central didn't join him at the party because, <laughs> you know, they have a UConn-bound superstar. And Naugatuck's not afraid of anybody. I would have no. loved to see Klingon and uh, Avery Hinn at battle. You know, I think also on top of it, as we're about to end the broadcast here, it's, it was great to be able to be back here for the NVL tournament. You know, I appreciate all the opportunities, being able to talk to the coaches and them allowing me the time into their programs and speak with them before the games. And, and to, to cap off the NVL championship game as JP being able to fill in and you know, hopefully we'll be able to have you for the tournament as now we begin our road to Mohegan. And JP, you better keep your schedule open because I think uh, I think you'll be joining us All at right, some I, point. I, I could do some stats or something at halftime, but yeah, the road <laughs> to Mohegan, hopefully a lot of Waterbury area teams, including this Naugatuck NBL yep. championship team. And those teams will be Naugatuck, and just speaking of a few, the Holy Cross, which is already starting to do damage for, on the girls' side. Then you have the Holy Cross boys, Naugatuck, Kennedy, uh, St. Paul, Career. I mean, the list goes on. Yeah. I mean, it's Crosby. And, and don't sleep on Torrington. They have a yes. really nice uh, Oxford, Woodland. They also made it last game. They knocked off uh, a scrappy Watertown team. But don't sleep on Torrington. They have a nice draw. Mm -hmm. and, and I think they could go to Eastern Connecticut and upset some people. JP, as always, thank you very much. Yes, thanks for having me, buddy. I appreciate it.